When the Nationals and Yankees arrived at the new stadium in the Bronx, they should have grabbed a box of Snickers because they weren't going anywhere for a while. Because of the torrential rain, the game was delayed more than five hours. Not the kind of thing you want to have on getaway day. Jabba Chamberlain coming off a poor four-inning performance against the Mets. Plenty of time to get ready and get your game face on. 2-2 Two -two is ripped down the right field line. It's a base hit. Zimmerman around third. He'll score. Dunn's going to second. The throw from Swisher is not in time. It's an RBI double for Adam Dunn, and the Nationals lead 1-0. Well, good news for the Yankees. Java Chamberlain is throwing strikes tonight. Bad news, he's getting hit pretty hard with everything that's over the plate. Ball misses off the plate. A slider down and in. Good pitch. Another fastball for a strike. Another slider down and in. He goes to another one and doesn't get it to the spot. And Adam Dunn just clears him out. Hooks it down the right field line, and the Nationals are on the board. Looks like we got a flat fastball from Jabba. Some hearty souls say, you know what? We're staying in the bleachers. Yankees. Nice play by Cervelli. He gets a good jump, full body dive, and holds on. Well, Tony Payne, you told me he actually, Jorge Posada gets a kick out of it. Tony said he's got to work Cervelli in between his starts because he has so much energy, and you see a little bit of it here. Actually over dives a little bit. Maybe didn't have to lay out. I'm sure his teammates are going to give him a hard time about that, but still a nice play. A little snow cone holds on with the throwing hand. Posada gets a chuckle. Cano ended yesterday's game with that double play, but 10 for his last 20. Oh, what a play by Anderson Hernandez. Taking a base hit away from Cano. Well, Robinson Cano has gone up to the plate in this series. He's been very aggressive. First thing he sees, a fastball and lines it. But a nice diving play from Hernandez going to his right. Freeze it on our Coors Light freeze camp. Five and a half hours in the clubhouse. We get It's nice. Top of the fourth base is loaded. Jabba walks Will Nieves. Four walks in the game. That one is ripped into left center field. It's a base hit. It'll get past Gardner, and it rolls to the wall. Scoring easily is Guzman. And Zimmerman gets himself an RBI double. It's 3-0 Nationals, and Zimmerman is 3-for-3. Three three. Tell you what, you hear a lot about Ryan Zimmerman around the National League, and then you get a chance to see him for a couple of games. And he just got a hanging slider and drills it to left center. His last at bat, he had a good slider that he hit to right field. This one, he gets a hanger. Drives in Guzman. You take a look at the swing, get the foot down, recognize the slider, nice extension. For the first time, they struggle. They just do. Rookie pitchers, they, they seem to struggle a little bit. That one is drilled deep to right field. Off the bat of Swisher, and it hits the base of the wall. Swisher's going for two. Here's the throw. Here's the play. He's out. What a throw by Austin Kearns to gun down Swisher for the first out of the fifth. Well, Joe Girardi likes aggressive base running, but you have to be smart. And Nick Swisher hits his ball on a line. It's his rocket. But Kearns bare hands it on the fly right on the bag. Nick Swisher coming out of the box. I think he knew it wasn't going to be a home run. He hit it on the line trying to dig for second to get his ball club going. At second base, two batters later, Craig Stammen strikes out Francisco. And the one-two. Served into left center field, giving chase as Gardner on the run, and he makes the play. Took an extra base hit away from Nick Johnson. Well, it looked like a changeup from the Savis, and Nick Johnson had a big swing, but he hit it off the end of the bat, and I think that fooled Brett Gardner. Thought that ball was going to carry a little more, and then he had to make up a little bit of ground. Comes in with a nice sliding catch. He had a nice route to it, and then he figured out he was too coming right at Alex Rodriguez. They're not fooling around, challenging him on the inner half. 3-2. That one is drilled deep to left field. Harris back, and he makes an unbelievable play. Willie Harris took an extra base hit 
away from Alex Rodriguez. What a play by Harris. Willie Harris, one of those super utility guys, and Alex Rodriguez finally got a ball out over the plate and hammered it to left field. But watch Harris, the full extension and dive. An outstanding defensive play. Ends up on the warning track. His starting pitcher loves it. Full extension. And the one-two. Hit sharply up the middle. Grabbed there by Guzman. And they get the force at second for the final out of the seventh inning. So a nice play by Guzman to get the force on Posada. Jeter hit it hard. But Guzman nailed it. Went down to the knees and flipped to Anderson. So the Yankees leave the bases loaded much to the light of Craig Stammen. The 1-0. That one's driven deep to center field. Going back, Gardner. Still back, still back, still back, still back. And he makes the play and crashes into the wall. As Dunn heads back to first, and Gardner's on the warning track. He really hit that wall hard. Nick Swisher runs from right. Johnny Damon goes over. Alex Rodriguez jogs out. The entire team jogs out. And Gene Monahan and Joe Girardi on their way out there as well. Boy, did he hit that wall hard. Let's take another look at real speed, John. Well, Kearns drills this ball. Brett Gardner going back. Hits his back against his padding here, and then you worry about the head hitting against the rest of the fencing behind it. It's like oh. that clear plexiglass, and he hit his head pretty good. You can see the eyes close. He gets the ball back in, but I'm sure Gene Monahan concerned about the head slamming into that plexiglass. And then Gino, there was some smelling salts. Now he gets to his feet. And they're going to get him on that golf cart. Mike McDougal trying to save it out. Bottom of the ninth, one out. Nick Swisher and the Nats turning the nifty double play. And they go on to win it 3 0, getting the shutout. Craig Stammen earns his first Major League victory as the Nats take two of three from the Yankees. In his sixth Major League start, Stammen gave up six hits and struck down two. This ranked the first time in New Yankee Stadium there wasn't a home run, and Ryan Zimmerman, he had three hits.